Good morning. My name is Benjamin Howes, and I'm the Vice President of Media Affairs at Huawei Technologies. I'll be making a short statement. Out of respect for the legal process, I am unable to take any questions afterwards. From the beginning, Huawei has expressed extreme confidence in Ms. Meng's innocence. We have maintained that her U.S.-ordered arrest was an unlawful abuse of process, one guided by political considerations and tactics, not by the rule of law. Today in court, lawyers for Ms. Meng made three new and important disclosures. First, the criminal case against Ms. Meng is based on allegations that are simply untrue. To the contrary, it was made clear that the business activities by Ms. Meng were conducted openly and transparently with the full knowledge of banking officials. The lawyers noted that the PowerPoint present presented was not misleading. The bank had knowledge of the nature of Skycom's business and operations in Iran, and the bank understood the relationship between Huawei and Skycom. Therefore, no evidence to prove that Ms. Meng committed acts of any wrongdoing exists. Second, it was revealed that the actions directed in part by the FBI led to serious and repeated violations of Ms. Meng's rights under the Charter. According to the evidence disclosed, the arrest of Ms. Meng at the Vancouver International Airport on December 1, 2018 was a coordinated effort between three departments, the FBI, the RCMP, and the CBSA. The RCMP intentionally delayed the presentation of the arrest warrant in order to carry out the unlawful detention and search against Ms. Meng. This was done under the pretense of a routine border check. Her luggage was searched, her cell phone and other electronic devices were taken at the direction of the FBI, and she was compelled to reveal her passwords. More key evidence regarding this case remains in the hands of the RCMP and the CBSA. Ms. Mung will apply to the court asking to disclose more evidence on this matter. Third, it was revealed that the arrest of Ms. Mung violated a core principle of the Canada-U.S. Extradition Treaty and Canadian Extradition Law. The U.S. allegations against Ms. Mung are based on violations of U.S. sanctions against Iran. However, Canada does not impose sanctions on financial services in relation to Iran. Because of this, the allegation she faces is not a crime in Canada, and therefore the extradition request does not satisfy the double criminality requirement. Furthermore, it was stated that the political factors at play during the extradition process may lead to serious violation of justice. Ms. Meng's legitimate rights may also be harmed. Thus, Ms. Meng intends to apply to the court for a stay of the extradition proceedings. Canadians value the rule of law and the Charter of Rights. Law enforcement officials are expected to follow the rule at all times, in all cases and for all people, citizens and visitors alike. We have trust in the Canadian legal process and we look forward to seeing Ms. Meng's freedom restored. In the following days, we will share more information regarding the financial institutions involved. Thank you very much for your time. Could you give us your name one more time, please? 